Hey guys, and welcome back. We're back on Z Kushmin, getting some more work done. Boy, a lot of guys uh, don't like my hinges. I guess they didn't uh, catch my comment that I told you about hiding them with reflectors. So now you see it. Now you don't. <laughs> I don't think it's all that big of a deal. Boy, that should be a, okay. We'll throw out that and we'll throw an orange one on the other side. These are a little bit too large. For when it folds over on itself, I may get ones that they're the size of the reflector without that circle around them. Even if they're just stick-ons or whatever. That should do just fine. It will cover. Make it look like they were there on purpose. Well, they are there on purpose. Right? Alright. So, let's move past that. Alright, I'm going to go get that welding blanket out of there. We'll drop the tailgate and, uh, I don't know, you want to start screwing with the tailgate? Yeah, we should probably do that. That out of the floor, that out of the floor. Let's get that out of the way and we'll make a decision. All right, so that's all the junk out of the way. Now we can see what we have to work with for the floor. <laughs> There's a couple of ways I can go and I've been bouncing around back and forth. One, originally I was just gonna sheet right over the top of it, which is how it was, uh, you know, when the box was in here from the factory, it just had a floor right over this up into that forward section. And that forward section was a different part of the, uh, the box in the back and now we're turning it into a pickup so i could make it all that one level the only thing you have to kind of go around is we'll have to change out this hardware that's sitting you know these two bolts are sitting proud holding the gas tank up we could probably come up with something for that uh the other thing was i already had two skins already cut that will cover that whole section i thought possibly what i can do is We'll make that third section kind of like a little treasure chest with a door on top we flip up and we just access whatever we want like tools and jack and, and that kind of thing hidden underneath there and uh you know we can keep that part of it you know the lower level for a little storage area or we can just kind of make it one solid floor going all the way front to back and you know cover this whole section uh, either down low or up top all one level as far as the tailgate is concerned i don't think it matters much either way because the sheet metal will fit right over the top of this lip and uh you know we can kind of screw into that i'm going to put a one inch bar no matter what right under here to give this some sturdiness if i lay the floor going across that way i'm going to do another one across the middle and then we'll replace that one with another one, probably one across the front, and give something for the floor to sit on in the middle where it's not trying to sag down. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's 14 gauge or the uh, 11. I think that's the 14 that we're using, which is still fairly thick. It's probably just as thick as anything that's on here. So I'm going to contemplate them for a little bit, see what uh, my best solution is. A couple guys talked about putting wood in there. I'm not that crazy about putting wood in. It just, to me it doesn't fit this project it would be good if it was an old uh you know 50s pickup or something like that but uh, i'm not really looking for that kind of look i said throw those two pieces of metal back in there just to kind of give ourselves an eyeball i think the if i continue to add one more piece to the front i think would we'll make it look aesthetically pleasing you know just me more cleaner cleaner of a bed on the other hand i see the two you know wheel wells essentially on each side dropping down it kind of gives the illusion of like you know bench seats on each side of it uh, like more like a paddy wagon kind of style and i do like the fact that if i put a bike or something in it's the front wheel is going to drop down into the uh the well that's in there it kind of gets the center of gravity just a little bit lower so i'm still kind of going back and forth but i think i may want to go with um just Re maybe resheet metaling the center of it or just the back section of it and we'll leave it at that i don't know if i want to get into the, the trunk section of it up front like i talked about and again if that's not the way i'm going to go it's totally going to be gone but nothing said we could always not add to it later right we could always just skin right across the floor and make this last section the last section it's not going to hurt anything so I'm going to go pop those back out of there. Maybe we'll look at those um, where the bolts are on the gas tank and we get that corrected so that we can have a piece sit flush down. Plus, I'm going to take, a, I think, a flat bar across. We'll just make sure that there's no other intrusions in that back area that, I'm, that we're not seeing. All right, so that was easy. Just some um, button head bolts took care of that. So that wouldn't be much of an issue uh metal i just went measuring in the in the uh, welding trailer the steel that i have and 
The one sheet that I caught up the most was the 14 gauge, which got used on this in a few spots. And I do not have a piece that is long enough to go from there all the way to the front. So I think what I'm going to do is bend that lip over this way. And the two pieces I already have cut, those two pieces that are already meant to fit up here, I think I'm just going to slice them down and we'll make it so that they fit just in this section and we'll leave the ravi piece in the front. It's going to get a mat and stuff on top of it anyway, so I'm really not that concerned about the appearance of this. You know, you can't have the critters running around and sliding around on the inside of it, so we're going to put something down. Uh, so that's the thing we're going to go, but we've got to change that guy and that guy out, the bracket for the fuel pump, because they're kind of sitting proud a little too. So I may just do the same or... <laughs> Give them, a, give them a whack with a hammer and just see if we can kind of knock them down so they're not on the same plane and uh, see what we get. So I changed the ones out in the fuel pump. Now, I think we got a little bit of, little bit of beatings to begin. I can sneak my way in here. And... See if we get that lip to lay flat. I started bending it with the uh, lip pliers. Noise alert. Cheaper. We'll make the other sheet slide right up to that lip and we'll just make that like an overlap. I gotta work on beating that more flat though. I did think about cutting it off with the uh, fuel pump and fuel lines right underneath it. Right, so fast forward a little bit because I want to get to the tailgate and probably do more of the filming on that. But that's uh, welded back together, ground flat, and uh, punched a bunch of screws in it around where it was safe. That area right there is the uh, the no-fly zone because the gas tank is right underneath it. So I marked them out <laughs> before I drilled it. I think we should be fine with that. Again, I want to age that so that it starts to look like the rest of it. So the more beat up in battle scores it gets, it'll be fine. So we're going to reattach the tailgate. And I think probably the best situation we're going to go with is I'm going to take a piece of angle like that and come back in. And we'll make a box that kind of goes across. We'll leave this just like it is and we'll just kind of come up underneath it. You can see where the first hole was drilled and then the same on the other side right there. That guy right there. I think we'll take this one, mark it up, cut it. Get it slid into place. Get a couple of tacks on that. That'll beef up the, the whole rear of the truck too because as stuff wants to go over the tailgate roll into this thing, there's something a little bit more support than what the factory had, which was, you know, pretty much that. So that angle's cut, fixed, and set inside there. And I grabbed the tailgate and brought it over on the bench. I figured uh, maybe we'll do some... I was thinking we're doing some, like, cross-bracing on it. I just took a few minutes to look at it and I want to try to come up with first of all is it even necessary I'm gonna skin it again with 14 gauge which is thick this is either 18 or 20 on the outside skin but like what's in the floor is 14 and 14 is uh, a decent uh, material it's not gonna dent rolling over and you'll hit it with a hammer dent but it's not going to uh, flex much so I'm kind of wondering if I need to, I was going to do a big cross in the center of it. I don't think that is 
necessary. I think I'm just adding more weight to it that it really doesn't need. Uh, possibly, maybe we'll just run a bar down and a bar down. Give it a little bit more. Or, you know, just split the difference. Whatever that is, we'll make you know, three sections the same width apart. Maybe. Uh, but I think I want to set it back on. We'll put the two screws in the far corners where it was mounted and where everything kind of lines up. And I wonder if we should probably do, where are they? Right there. Figure out how we're going to go about making the, the straps that limit how far it travels. You know what I mean? So one side's got to go get mounted to the gate on the upper part of it. And the, and the other part's got to get mounted to the body somewhere for it to uh, draw a straight line when, uh, draw 45 when it's... Uh, in the down position. Actually, it doesn't need to be a 45, but it's probably the strongest. Let's do that. Let's go put, throw the two screws back in it, set it back up, and maybe we'll eyeball that stuff and then we can weld some tabs or something coming up for it to pivot on before we get into that. And yeah, I changed my mind again. I decided to, while it's off, we're gonna go drill through and make some plug because right now I just have the hinge attached by the front skin. So I figure before we drop it in there and, and you know, start fine tuning stuff, we know we want this fixed permanently. So I'm going to drill some holes just through the top skin of it, hopefully, and then we'll come back and we'll do some plug welds. Let's see how a full size bit works right away. No Santa punch. That's a good bit. She said it's too big. Can you go a little smaller? Oh, what a lovely sound. I'm gonna go through with a little bit, all the way down, go back, bigger bit, bigger bit, blah, blah, blah. You got it. I got them drilled out. Finally went and got the right pattern of stuff to uh, do it, because there's two, metal, two layers of metal here that I went through, and then the third being the square tube. So I am down to that with, I don't know, a quarter inch hole or something. I got the welder cranked up fairly hot. And I'm going to do my best to try to like just backfill it. And if I can get enough heat in it, I think I'm going to open it up fairly well. The only way I would like to do a larger hole than this, but there's not that much meat. I don't want to get into making it really wavy. So let's see how this goes for us. We'll start in the middle, work our way out maybe. That was a dirty one. Watch got a crater and that one's got a crater. Let's try to get a little... Ah. I come back in with a flapper disc, try to knock them down a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. How's your eyes? Did you blink? Well, now that you got welder's eye, how about throw some sparks in there for good measure.
liking that better. Now I feel more comfortable that the piano hinge is now attached to the uh, one by one eighth inch wall to the structure of it. All right, let's go th throw that back up there and uh, throw some screws in it and look into now those pivoty hingy thing straps. Let's see if we can get that thing back on there. I think I still have to come back and weld that guy too, but in case I'm off and I need to fudge one way or the other, the capacity to. You see the, the fudge room I still have in it. So we're probably going to want to line it up to what we had before. I think it's got to go towards you guys a little. Alright, let's go get that strap thing and look at what we got. Loosen the bottom two screws up so it can shift a little. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is if I weld those other bars in there of distorting it, getting it a twist, because you only get the welds on three of the four sides, you know, you can't get the one that, where the sheet metal is there. So I uh, kind of, I don't know, I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to you wanna put maybe just one and one in there or we'll kick them a little bit on an angle? All right. So I ran into a problem. I ended up tightening those screws down and uh, threw one more in the middle. And the issue is how much I am now off, how much it sucked the tailgate down once everything was cinched together. That could be a combination of just, again, screwing it down and you know, the last weld we just did. So I want to get that squared away before I try to do the, the this part of it because whatever I change, whatever I change where it's hinged is also going to change that point out there, you know, where the level is. Uh, what do we do to fix it? One thing, let's go see what the gates look like. Well, it still kind of goes under it. I wonder if we can if we can make a shim for underneath there. Like this isn't welded in yet. So I said I can move this one up. But the walls here are going to be the wrong height. The fender wells. Uh, how about... Yeah, we'll cut this. We'll cut this freighted. And then maybe we'll just make shims for the two sides whatever the whatever we need maybe probably eighth inch we'll cut a couple of strips around underneath there let's go try that we'll shim it up and i, I want to get that nice and square first all right so i got the tailgate kind of where i want it and cut stuff free moved it around fudged it a little bit and i think we're pretty good i like the way it's set up it's level to the truck so this is kind of where we want it in the open position so I got these guys. I think they would work decent. I do not have the mounting hardware for each side of that. I'm going to go look in the junk drawer, see if we can find maybe there's a shoulder bolt or something I can use. And so we got to go from, hopefully you guys can see, pick you up a little bit. There you go. The only downfall with these cameras the point and shoots is it doesn't have a screen that you can see what you're looking at. Like so one around the back. All right, so. I'll make the bend go down. 
And we think we probably want to catch right about here for the uh, anchor point. So when the gate folds up, it's got to be out of the way, you know. Actually, it's going to be lower. It's going to come in probably right about there. So I think we need to come up with like a triangle coming up off of here and some kind of way to mount that to that. So let's try and establish that and maybe some ends. Once we got that figured out, then we can kind of dance around where we want to put them. So I just found some bolts that were the right size and tacked them, made a plate up for the bottom and tacked them on. I don't know how this whole assembly is going to fold together. That's the, you know, the down position where it would be. I don't know what we're going to get. I don't know. Is there any way to, uh, I mean, it just does what it does, you know? I guess switch that cable around too, so the, the offset's facing the other way. Yeah, the offset on both of them needs to be facing the other direction. Will that be an issue in any way? I don't think so. It's got the, the play in it. So what I figure I'll do is I'll just, I can weld them solid, run the nut into, we just got a little bit of play in it. And we'll just come back with the whiz wheel. Yeah. Cut them off flush with the cutting wheel and that'll be the diameter we want. Maybe take a little uh, chisel or a punch. We'll just give a punch mark to keep the nut from turning off. But if we ever want to take it apart, we still can. We just unthread it. So I need to make another one of those for the other side. Yeah, that'll be fine. I think that'll work out just good. And that one. I think that'll be let's get the Jackson Dan out of there. Let the weight go on it. Just gotta remember their tack though. Seems like they're both pretty good tension on them. It's like one's hanging before the other one, huh? That should work out fine. It looks like the tailgate's slightly up. I think over time it's gonna it may settle in a little rather have it that way than already kind of pitching down a little is there anything that should tell me to stop don't do what I'm doing I don't see anything much of an issue yeah, I think we'll be fine Okay, we'll cut those bolts down. They won't look as obtrusive. All right, let's get the welding. Watch your eyes. That's not gonna fall off. Now both of those are nice and sorry. Let's give it the stress test, right? I don't want to push it on the center of the tailgate until the rest of that's built. I got the clamp off of this one side over here was off, so I'm gonna weld it back on later. Just to make sure everybody's still playing well. Yeah. Anyway, those latches tighten back up. I like that. I'd say it's functional. Yeah, that's good enough <laughs> and again I'll cut the bolts back so you don't see them and they'll just be flush to I actually think I have a, a thinner set of nuts we don't have to go that that big we can probably get ones with half of that and get it even sucked in a little further 
upper lower. Hey guys, well, probably gonna continue this video, but for me, I'm gonna wrap it up tonight. I'm gonna watch it. So hopefully I'll pick you back up and we'll continue on this tomorrow and get that uh, thing skinned on the back there. Hey guys, and I'm um, back next evening. See if we can get a little bit more done on this. I started ahead just a little bit. All I did was took the uh, cutoff wheel and the grinder and just nipped back the uh, excess hardware that was on there. And I changed those nuts out for some lower profile ones. The top ones actually kind of like on the bolt, the thread runs out at the last um, last thread or two, it kind of runs out. So when the nut ran on, it got tight before the, the strap got tight. So they don't need any kind of anything to hold them in place. The bottom one, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. If I find a, a back off, like I said, I'm just gonna take a center punch and probably just hit them. We keep the nut from backing off. But the fact that I cut it and grind it, the that may just be enough to hold them too. Nope, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> a little liar there. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll punch them to keep them from backing off. But I think now we're gonna get into making the piece of sheet metal for the top of the deck. And then we'll decide if it's strong enough without supporting it. If we don't think it's strong enough, we'll put a couple of bars in there. So let's get set up for that. Right, let's see what we got. I wanna say that it is right on 13. So we're gonna call it I go 12 and a half. Yeah, so we're gonna go 12 and a half by we'll call it 43 and a half by 12 and a half. I think what we'll do is we'll cut it out and then we'll come back for uh, these guys. We'll want, we'll lay it down one direction, mark where the location of that is, make a notch for it, lay it the other direction and do this one on this side. Should be a full sheet across, should be 48 across. Right. 43 and a half. go for you said 12 and a half right 12 and a half and around here I'll mark them out and I'll clamp a straight edge to it fire up the plasma cutter ready for the plasma cutter tips getting pretty uh blown out we'll give her one more shot what happens is it starts cutting a fatter and fatter path in the uh so it's a wider cut and less penetration as the the hole in the center kind of opens up let's give her try doing a plunge cut right on that spot gotta turn it on
It's got to reset for this one. I don't think it'll fall, but watch your toes in case it does. See how this works out for us. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. So I'm thinking we can just kind of lay it in. Split the difference. And I'll just take a measurement on each side. Something like we're going to need from there to there. I'll do the same on the other side and we'll figure out. Eh, probably a half inch, we gotta notch it. All right, trim them out. Let's see how close we are. Yeah. Tad tight. <laughs> I'm gonna go fine tune them a little more. I kind of want to sneak up on them. I didn't want to make it um, so far that I left an open gap in between. And I cleaned off the edges too. Let's see how we fit this time. I don't remember. Was it that way? Looks like we got a lot of gap here. Not as much as they are, not that we can't. Just try. Don't know which way I measured those out. That do? That's more like it. The writing down, remember the writing down. Now how heavy is that going to be? It's already got a fairly much mass to it. You think we're going to need support in the middle. Yeah, it's right on the verge. I know when it's welded up, it'll be much stronger. I think maybe we should, should throw something in there, though. Okay, remember, writing down, right? in the comments a couple hundred times. All right, let's make a couple of bars for the middle. Start using up some of those smaller scrap pieces. I'd say we go with right a bar. And yeah, I'm gonna go straight up and down. I'm not gonna put them on an angle and we'll see the point. Let's get some jacks.
next time. Work the middle and work my way out. you back when I'm done. The hammer helps hold the metal right against each other and it gives my hand a place to rest on so that's why I like using it. That's all. I didn't bother doing where the two bars are. If I want to I may come back later and put one in it if I find it gets a little oil canning over time. But sometimes I find when I do that stuff in the center it the panel gets kind of wavy so I just want to stay away from that. Let's see. Prints all over it now. That's fine. Let us slam. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Oh, then up and down. You can still do that. It's allowed to do that. Yeah, so I cleaned up a bunch of the the welds with the flapper disc and. Put some gussets in here and there, beef stuff up a little bit, cleaned it all up, swept the floor, and shoved the bike in it. That should be just fine. It won't it won't be sitting on the stand like that when I have it tied down in the front. It's just a hole there right now. Tire will just sit on the tailgate and I gotta make uh probably four uh the bottom of each stanchion maybe I'll just get a big washer and I'll weld a washer to it, something to, to hook uh straps up to. That uh, should be just fine. Actually, should be able to get two of them in there. Kick that one over. I'll probably put another one next to it. Or back one in, if need be. But plenty of height. That's not an issue. Most of the bike should fit in there. If I do have one that's a little longer, I might put a board, just set a board in there. And uh, so if the tire needs to sit, you know, just past it, it should be fine. They don't weigh much. Those bikes are probably... Uh, 80 pounds a piece, something like that. They probably go from like 60 to 100. I should haul it just fine though. I'm happy with that. And the gates will get a rubber bump stop on the bottom of them so they don't hit against like that. It'll go boom. And then we'll make some kind of tie back for them so that they could travel in that position. All right, gate again. <laughs> a lot of guys wanted me to take this structure and hinge it, piano hinge it to this location. Now, imagine that being there right now. That would make the gate on an angle right now, shooting up on an angle, probably about this high. It would be leaning. The bottom would continue past out on an angle like that and the top you wouldn't be able to fold it all the way in because the roof does not follow that line it goes on an angle so it could only go till it would hit the roof it would not lay flush against that and the other reason why i didn't like to do that i didn't want the you know because a lot of times if a bike's going to be in there the gates are going to be in this position the look of them up on an angle is uh, going to look funny with the bars going this way and then you're going to have another set of bars going that way and I felt that it was much more attractive like this than trying to hinge them the other way and because it's mine that's how I'm gonna do it 
So I'm happy with it. I have no issues with uh, how that stays like that. People say someone's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> someone's gonna. Uh, a bicyclist is gonna hit himself in the head with the hinges that are sitting out. If I uh, I hit you in the head with that because it's sticking out, I would definitely say I probably drove over your feet. And uh, the mirror already smashed you in the face anyway, so the second one is uh, just a wake-up call after the first one bounced off your skull. So I don't see that being an issue. It's not past the body at all. It's within the body. It's the same as this. It sticks out just as far as that. So. Alright guys, I think I am going to wrap this one up. I think that uh, this video is probably getting long enough. I want to do... Next is, I gotta get rid of all the marker that's written all over it and kind of give it a wipe down, mask off a bunch of stuff, and then I'm gonna blow a bunch of paint in on the painted surfaces, and then we're gonna age that, but we'll make that on another video. This one's already long enough. I think it would just be, be just fine. And the other one, oh, the other one was to the, talk about having the gate go hitch, hitch in the upward position, and I didn't want that neither because, um, I just find it was it's going to be very cumbersome to try to go ahead and do that i like the fact that these wherever i park them they're gonna stay again i built it for me so wasn't it i thought of all three of those you know but this is just a solution that i came to that i wanted plus jail cell feel to it you know you want the doors to kind of shut on it i never saw a uh, jail cell that the uh, the door open like that. So, all right, guys. Thanks again. I will see you soon on the next video. Later. Hey, one last thing. I got rid of the metal uh, keepers for the uh, latch bolt that went through there. I just welded nuts on there. So those guys were kind of flimsy. I kept kind of tapping them around to fine tune them a little bit. So. Uh, just ripped them right off of there and went with that. Now that is not going to wear out. You don't like it. A little show and tell. Getting there.